Hi kids, welcome to Teacher Jean's e-classroom and today we're going to have Science 6 quarter 1 week 7 on separating mixtures through magnetizing, seeding, and winnowing. For our objectives for this week, at the end of the lesson you are expected to 1. Describe ways of separating mixtures. 2. Identify ways of separating mixtures. 3. Name mixtures that can be separated by magnetizing, seeding, and winnowing. Now let's have our review. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Get ready with your notebook and your pen. Ready now? If you are, then let's begin. Number one. What way will you use to separate squash from other vegetable components in pinakbet? A. Hand picking, B. Decantation, C. Seeding, or D. Evaporation. 2. What way will you use to separate oil from water mixed in a glass? A. Hand picking, B. Decantation, C. Seeding, or D. Evaporation. Number 3. How will you separate salt from water in seawater? A. Hand picking, B. Decantation, C. Seeding, or D. Evaporation. Number four. How do you perform separate, separation of mixtures through evaporation? By A. Boiling the mixture and letting the liquid material evaporate. B. Picking up the solid materials so the solid, so the liquid material remains. C. Pouring out the liquid so the solid remains in the container. Or D. Scooping out the lighter material as the heavier one sinks at the bottom. Number five. How do you perform decantation? By blank. A. Using hands to separate components of the mixture. B. Scooping out the lighter material. C. Pouring out the liquid to retain the solid component. Or D, both B and C. Now let's do the checking. You can check it by yourself or you can ask somebody else to check your work. Ready? Let's begin. Number one, what way will you use to separate squash from the other vegetable components in pinakbet? Correct answer is letter A, hand picking. Number two, what way will you use to separate oil from water mixed in a glass? Correct answer is B, decantation. Three, how will you separate salt from water in seawater? Correct answer is D, evaporation. Number four, how do you perform separation of mixtures through evaporation? Why? Correct answer is A, boiling the mixture and letting the liquid material evaporate. And number five, how do you perform decantation? Correct answer is by D, both B and C. Now, time for you to count the number of check marks that you got. What did you get? Five? That's amazing. I hope you will be doing great in our new lesson. So for our new lesson, let me ask you the following questions. What would you do if ever some iron nails that you are holding accidentally fell into your rice keeper and got mixed into your rice? What method of separating mixtures would you use to separate the nails from the rice? For sure, your answer would be hand picking. You're going to hand pick the nails to separate them from the rice grains. But there is also another way aside from hand picking. There is another method of separating the iron nails from the rice grains, which is much faster and more efficient. It is separating through the use of magnet or through magnetizing. Look at the pictures. You see that the nails has efficiently stuck into our magnet so that the rice has become free from the nails. 
Magnetizing is a way of separating mixtures of metals and non-metals. Magnets attract metals, so if you put a magnet over a mixture of metals and non-metals, the metals would stick to the magnet, thus the non-metals remain in place. However, there are some metals that cannot be magnetized, like gold, silver, aluminum, copper, brass, and lead because they are weak. These metals could be attracted to magnets if iron and steel are added to them to become metals with strong magnetism. Last week, we have been discussing the first three ways of separating mixtures. And this week, we're going to have three more. And we have magnetizing next. As much as Filipinos love to eat rice, we, that includes me, also love to eat pasta and noodles. Mm. What about you? Do you like to eat spaghetti or maybe pancit canton? What do you feel? How do you feel while, while looking at your screen with those yummy food? Have you tried cooking some of the spaghetti pasta or some pancit canton? What do you do to separate the pasta from the water or the noodles from the water? Mm. Look at those pictures. The best way to separate mixtures like these is to use a strainer. Look at those pictures. The silver one and the green one. Those are strainers or sieve. These method of separating mixtures is called sieving or straining. Sieving or straining is a method that uses a strainer, sieve, net, or mesh cloth to separate liquid from solid components in a mixture or to separate tiny from bigger sized components in a mixture. Just like in the picture, the first one, the first picture shows the flour being sifted. We call it sifting. When you try to make the flour fine and you want to get rid of the, the bigger particles from it, or maybe the ants that may get into the container, then you may use a strainer to sieve it or to sift it. Next is when you try to get some coconut milk from the coconut meat. You can either use this, the one in the second picture, a mesh cloth, or the one in the third picture, which is a strainer. And the last picture shows how construction workers try to separate pebbles from sand or sometimes to uh, separate fine sand from the bigger particles of sand. Have you tried separating rice grains from rice hull? So what, how did you do it? Yes, you put the mixture in a bilao and with fast movement, you remove the lighter shaft with the aid of the wind. And this is called winnowing. You remove the lighter rice hull, like the ones in the picture. Picture one shows women having some winnowing activity to separate the cacao beans from or the cacao nibs from the cacao shell. And then the other picture shows another woman trying to get rid of the rice hull from the rice grains. This process is called winnowing. It's a method used in separating heavier components from lighter components in a mixture with the aid of the wind. So you have to do it very fast so that the lighter material can be removed. Or in modern days, they use a winnower. There is this machine that produces like a, an artificial wind, wherein that wind would uh, get rid of the lighter material. Could be a rice hull, removing it from the rice grains. Now let's have our practice tell how components in the picture can be separated. Is it by magnetizing, seeding, or winnowing? Ready? I hope. Let's begin. Number one, how do you separate sand and iron fillings? Two, 
How do you separate cacao nibs from cacao shell? Three, how are you going to separate the tea from the tea leaves if you're ready to drink it and you don't want to get some tea leaves stuck in your tea? Number four, how do you separate the corn grits and corn hull? Number five, sea grapes and water. If you are going to make some seaweed salad, how are you going to uh, separate the water from the sea grapes efficiently. Number six, how do you separate the buttons from the pins? Pins made of metals and buttons made of plastic. Done answering? If you are, then let's do the checking. Number one, how do you separate the sand from the iron fillings? Quick answer is magnetizing. You just put the magnet over the mixture and voila, all the iron fillings would stick into your magnet. Next, cacao nibs and the cacao shell, you do the winnowing. What about the tea and tea leaves? Sieving. You use a strainer or maybe a mesh cloth to get rid of the leaves so that you can only retain the tea. Next, you're going to use winnowing to get rid of the corn hull. For sea grapes and water, you use a strainer, so sieving. And for number six, to separate the pins from the buttons, you use magnetizing. Perfect score is six, so time for you to Count the number of check marks you got. If you got six, that means wow, you're doing really, really great. Now let's continue. How do you separate mixtures through the following? Magnetizing. How do you do it? Correct. You separate metals from non-metals by attracting the metals into sticking to the magnet. What about sieving and straining? How do you do that? You separate the liquid from solid components or tiny from bigger components by using a strainer, mesh, or net. And number three, how do you perform winnowing? You separate the lighter from heavier components by removing the lighter material with the aid of the wind so that the heavier material would be left behind. Now let's do our assessment. Let us check how much you've learned from our lesson today. If you're ready, just choose the letter of the correct answer and write it on your activity notebook. Let's start with number one. If you have accidentally mixed some thumbtacks to your raw mongo beans, what method would you use to efficiently separate thumbtacks from the manga beans? A. Winnowing. B. Seeding. C. Evaporation. Or D. Magnetizing. Number two. What method will you use to separate rice grains from rice hull? Is it A. Winnowing. B. Seeding. C. Evaporation or demagnetizing. Number three, what method would you use to separate tiny pieces of paper from a lot of many different paper clips? A, winnowing, B, seeding, C, evaporation, or D, magnetizing? Four, what method would you use to separate coconut milk from the grated coconut meat? Is it A, winnowing, B, seeding, C, evaporation, or D, magnetizing? Number five, your mom asks you to help her prepare some fruit salad. She tells you to separate the fruit cocktail from the juice. How would you do it? Through A, winnowing, B, seeding, C, evaporation, or D, magnetizing. 
Number six, how do you separate wheat grains from its husk? A, winnowing, B, seeding, C, evaporation, or D, magnetizing? Number seven, how do you perform separation of mixtures through winnowing? By A, picking up solid materials so the liquid materials remain. B, pouring out the liquids so the solid remains in the container. C, scooping out the lighter material as the heavier one sinks at the bottom. Or D, moving the mixture very fast and with the aid of the wind, remove the lighter material so the heavier material is left behind. Number eight. How do you perform magnetizing? By A, using a strainer, a mesh, or a net to separate liquid from solid. B, using a magnet to separate metals from non-metals in the mixture. C, pouring out the metals so that the non-metals will remain in the container. Or D, moving the mixture very fast and with the aid of the wind, remove the lighter material so the heavier material is left behind. Ready for the checking? Let's do it. Number one, if you accidentally mix some thumbtacks to your raw manga beans, what method will you use to efficiently separate the thumbtacks from the manga beans? Correct answer is demagnetizing. Two, what method will you use to separate rice grains from rice hull? The correct answer is A, winnowing. Three, what method would you use to separate tiny pieces of paper from a lot of many different paper clips? The correct answer is demagnetizing. And four, what method would you use to separate coconut milk from the grated coconut meat? The correct answer is B, seeding. Five, your mom asks you to help her prepare some fruit salad. She tells you to separate the fruit cocktail from the juice. How would you do it? Through? Correct answer is B, seeding. Number six, how do you separate wheat grains from its husk? Correct answer is A, winnowing. Seven, how do you perform separation of mixtures through winnowing? By D, moving the mixture very fast and with the aid of the wind, remove the lighter material so the heavier material is left behind. And number eight, how do you perform magnetizing? By, correct answer, using a magnet to separate metals from non-metals in the mixture. Ready for the checking? If you are ready, then let's begin. The counting of not really the checking, but ready for the counting of your score. Are you ready for the counting of your score? For the counting of your check marks? You got seven or eight, that means you passed the test. If not, you need to review the video and answer the activity again. Now for your assignment, you're going to do these. First, take a picture showing separation of mixtures through magnetizing and label it. Two, take a picture showing separation of mixtures through seeding and label it. And three, take a picture showing separation of mixtures through winnowing and label it. Then collage them into one page and submit them to our Google Classroom. Make sure that the pictures you submit are originally taken from you. So you have to do the activity by yourself. Don't you just grab pictures from the internet. I won't allow that. So you have to do your very own picture taking. So that's it for today, kids. I hope you've learned a lot in today's lesson. So this is Teacher Jean saying, stay safe, stay healthy, God bless. And please don't forget to like and share our video. And of course, subscribe to our channel. Bye-bye.